Last week, we stained the bathroom door, made some alterations to our pipe accessories, and figured out how to hang decorative towels. Bryson poured aluminum into his molds to create handles for the bathroom cabinet. Dad installed drawers and doors for the first kitchen cabinet, then started designing and building the island. Stay tuned as we continue on the additions to the main house. It's gonna look real good on that door. All right, good job, Bryce. One of our ideas that we're super excited about is designing some cool nautical stuff for the bathroom door on the inside. The first thing we wanna do is you wanna add a porthole to the top middle. It's gonna have bolts around it. It'll be like, it'll have like a fake glass in there. So picture that centered and you'll have an idea of what we're planning on doing. In the island, it's gonna have a stove top, vegetable sink, and sitting area. It's time to make the sectionals, little pie shapes that are gonna be going into this thing. These are my four pie-shaped cabinets that are gonna be making this round four-foot corner. It's gonna go around this way. Gary has been over there diligently working on those cabinets. Now he's building that island. We've been cutting out our floors. We built four of these. I'll be cutting the sides and the backs next. Bryson did a fabulous job. He designed it first and then he 3D printed it. It was eight different parts because it was a big porthole. So he had to do it in eight chunks. We've been advised to sand down the sides, glue them together, and then we'll sand down everything. We debated between super glue and shoe goo. We decided on shoe goo because shoe goo is gonna give us a little bit more time to get it in the right position. As super glue, it's done when it's in. Number eight, the final piece. Hey, hey, hey. You go see it? Oh, yeah. Yes, it's staggered. What do you think, Gary? Yeah? I think it's cool. Way cool. Oh, wow, this is really cold out here. Wow. Um, remember that this is going to last. Not quite. No, but yeah, yeah. just think of that. <laughs> How many millions of miles away is this? Alexis. <laughs> 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 Looks like the moon. <laughs> Meanwhile, I gotta put this together. Just yeah, I was thinking we could hang our towels on the side. Is that already the plan? Yeah, I'm gonna go like this on the wall. I think they should go like this on the wall. You know, that's what Dad keeps saying too, that we're gonna hang them out. Towels are gonna slip off. That's what I feel. Ready? That's <laughs> it. That doesn't count. Okay, versus the other way. They're both cute, I'm not sure. Two of like this might be kind of cool. That's what we were going to do one and one. I'd like to stick with that if that's okay with you guys. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's yeah it's Gucci. I realize you guys aren't ready for my genius just yet. It's cool. genius <laughs> There's a bunch of little cracks in between the connections. I think we should fill it with something and then sand over the top of it. Yeah, I agree. So I'm going to put some putty in there. It's looking more and more hopeful. It's very portly. <laughs> Ship shape. It's a whole lot of fun. <laughs> I glued those pieces together and sanded as much as I could because I didn't want there to be any seams was the goal. Uh, we found jet glass stuff, which is like lightweight. It doesn't break. It's very it's cool. It was given to us a while ago. Yeah, it was given to us a long time just... ago. On the back side, he made an indent for us to put this in. This can be cut with a regular old saw. So we got like in here somewhere. Just somewhere in there. Just look at that round circle. Wow, it's the thingy thing. Here we go. Just around here like a saw. <laughs> That's cool. Who's ever very handsome in that mirror? <laughs> <laughs> this is for you. In the belly, the pond, what we pose, 
Waiter? Yeah, waiter, you know? Nice. More like a dumb waiter. <laughs> <laughs> wow, freak. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it kind of slipped out. <laughs> I'm gonna hold him, just. Car projects. We got the Saturn, which is Dad's car, which we're working on. We're gonna do spark plugs, just a little tune up in the engine area. Like this. This is the air intake. This is like its lungs. It's been smoking for a long time. Maybe some backfire. AKA coughing. A lot. Coughing. Aaron did the retiming. He rebuilt the top half because, mm -hmm. of course, when timing belts slip, they bend up everything. everything. So he went in, he fixed all that, started working, mm -hmm. and we're like, okay, we'll just run it into Keep the driving. ground, I guess. Yep. It's been running forever. I went through and I replaced the valve cover gaskets because mm -hmm. over time they just started to just get old. Ever since then, the oil keeps leaking out of the valve cover gaskets and the way the car is designed is if it oil leaks out of those, it goes straight into the spark plugs. No, that's and crazy. then it kills the spark plugs and then the spark plugs stop firing. That's not a good sign. These two were just drenched in oil, which essentially means that there was no spark getting to these back cylinders. Very well be the reason why. This car has been running so rough. It's misfiring like four or five pistons at a time. You're like, is this <laughs> thing going running keep on one going? Piston. What created a problem for us? How much money do we continue to spend? We thought, well, that spark plugs, struts, a hundred bucks. We want to make it to the end of the road. Yeah, at least I'm back. The goal is to get this car running long enough so we can fix up another car that we have. Mm -hmm. And then we went through and replaced struts on it as well because we did notice it was clunking when hitting bumps. Why? One strut was completely blown out. I wonder why that was There's happening. oil I mean, everywhere. Dropped in the normal because we're well, on a dirt road. It's yeah, just know, like that one was totally blown out too. One more thing, we got a radiator put on, and no, we're just replacing the fluid. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, when is your parts gonna arrive for your car? Hang on, hang on. It's kind of an important one. It's up for the spark plug bank. Okay. Oops. We're only around a half a cylinder. Yeah, it's idling and it's warming up properly. So. Hey. We Everyone get him up! <laughs> it's project. It, it runs really well now. I didn't expect it to run so well. I figured, uh, it will, okay, it'll run, but it'll probably still be misfiring. Now let's go eat because I'm starting out. That was an easy job, right? Go, Charlie. Two struts. A halfway top end rebuild. Yeah. Bree and I are just dreaming of things that we want on the door and all we have to do is take those things to Bryson and give him an example of what we want. I watched him design the bolts. He did those really quickly and then print those off. The first one was too big. The conversion between inches and millimeters that didn't work. These are the parts or the little bolts that you want. Sometimes in designing parts you don't ever really know the size of the part. That is perfect, Bryson. That is the perfect size right there. That's gonna be A plus. I'm looking forward to sanding it and painting that puppy up, slapping it on a door. Fun size and plus. All right, so Bree and I have a little system. We just take the razor blade, clean off the edge, and once that's done, rub it on there until we get what we want. Make it look a little used. All right, and that's it. Just put them over here. talking about roundy and I'm seeing it now. Are you seeing it? I'm seeing the roundy. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. We had some neighbors over the weekend. They're looking at the cabinets and they're talking about how it's a very sturdy piece of material that he's mm. building these cabinets where, like our red ones, they're very chintzy and they've served us well, but this high quality that Gary really likes. Yeah, they're sturdy, you know, you could probably swing from them, you know, at some point, because they're just, they're there, you know, they're not coming apart anytime soon. We decided to make four boat cleek hooks for the bathroom. Oh, you've got little connectors there. 
I print something usually like this, and then I'll print these little bars that slide in there like that. You have two of the same pieces, and then you can just slip them together, and they're like a puzzle piece. Sand them down. Get rid of the little crease that's in the center there. And you need a, a round surface, you know? Yeah. It's a good use for your belly. Mom, is it smooth yet? I don't know. It's... Yeah? <laughs> Technically, the paint will survive more than the plastic. Okay. I painted this with engine block paint, so. <laughs> the reason for the paint on the 3D print is the 3D print is rough and it tends to stick to the mold, or tears it up every time I pull the molds apart. So I need the part to be smooth so that it doesn't stick to the sand on the mold. Last time I was thinking about doing like a thing on top of it to hold oh. the aluminum in there, but the hole is a lot bigger in this particular mold. So I think I'm just gonna make them a lot larger and see what happens. a buffer from a garage sale, <laughs> like a champ, but I haven't gotten a chance to use the buffer yet. So when we were buffing the glass, I was like, perfect opportunity, and uh, we buffed it. <sighs> this is truly the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Did you see last week? Really we were well. getting buff as we buffed. Done. Oh, lolly. Wow, that took out of it. <laughs> This is all the cabinets that we had that we picked up earlier. We've been able to use quite a bit of this and additional plywood and it's be the backs now to these new cabs. And it doesn't matter that they have all that paper on them. Because they're in the back. Great. We begin to think about how to get that cross brace in while we're waiting for the backs. But these are beasts. These are the cross braces for the front. Facing that goes on here. There'll be drawers, or there'll be cabinets, or there'll be whatever to go in there. With that shape, you can't really do a drawer. Ha, huh. shelves for the tall ones. So there'll be three with shelves, and a sink that sets in one of them. Handle on the handle like we thought we had a handle on the handle. So we have redone the handle. I sanded it down to the bare metal. We hit it with black. We hit it with a couple of coats of the silver and we just hit it with a clear coat. So we went overboard to make sure that it stayed this beautiful silver stuff. He designed the ship wheel and he has all the intricacies of the wheel and that, the way the handles fit on the wheel and the way they bulge out and he made one part completely flat so even though it was round, the one side of it you flatten so it'll fit right on the door there and attach well. There we go. This one's the main one here. Yeah, that has a nice flat surface, not only to print, but for it to go against the door as well. It was so much fun to watch him, and then he's flipping it all around in 3D space, and then he prints it out. And within two hours that you go from design to printing it out, you pick it up, and you put it in your hand. I was watching this thing spin around in 3D space, and now I can pick it up and put it in my hand. It it's a really cool experience. It's amazing how something so digital can be so real. The print layers created a wood-type design. We're very happy with it. He did a great job. This is Bree's car. His name is Putt Putt. Bree was just driving down the road, no fault in hers, and the road just popped up out of the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's and funny how. Slammed into the bottom of her car. Which took it and like bunched it all up in here and like cracked it and stuff. It's supposed to be more like bent like this. It's supposed to come out like. And that caused this to get bunched up in the back, and then this ended up running into her wheel. This is the resonator area, and on the very end, that's the Cadillac down there. And that piece is good. The benefits of driving on a dirt road. <laughs> Big divots. Not sure I see a benefit here. <laughs> the pirates finally came for my car. Ooh, look at those parts. Ooh, they're like polished. Chrome? Oh. Yeah. They Back say here. it has a lower, louder sound, but really they were promoting that it was better for the engine. Bro. All right, Bryson, you ready to put this sucker in? Yep. Let's do it. You can see my bend. Just a little bit, not bad. I'm too fat to fit under. You're too buff, bro. Goes on. Is that muffling your words? Okay, Brie, are we ready to start it up? All right, let's give it a shot. Don't hit the tree. 
She won't have to check. Wow, it sounds so good. I like it. It's a little louder. Like it had more get up. You know what I mean? We started with a black paint. I didn't get them all the way black on all of them, but I figured we we're gonna be putting the same silver on top, so. It's my favorite piece. And then we did a silver paint over the top of that once the black had dried. All right, that's um, looking good, huh? Yeah. Those are gonna look kind of fun, you know, like scuffed up and stuff. It's like pieces of metal were strapped together or something. And then we went through and we sanded it, scuffed it up to make it kind of antique. It's coming through, the black is coming through, Bri. It's coming through. And that was You're doing a good job, Bri. It actually is looking correct. Yeah, it looks, looks weathered. Yeah, it does look weathered. We did that with both a porthole and all of the bolts as well, which I think came out really great. When we were putting this together, I think both of us had a little concern that it would be a little over the top. Mm -hmm. That that too much gene that we all have might kick in and explode on our door. We didn't put anything in officially. We were like, oh, we'll tape it up. Oh, we'll be careful. And if it doesn't work, oh well. I was concerned it was gonna be a little corny, but it, it worked. I love it. Don't you love I it? I love it. Especially when you look around it, it ties the room together. Cause that yeah. one side didn't have any of the silver. It does, it just adds another fun element. And again, something that you don't see in every bathroom. Definitely not. I mean, I've never seen that in a bathroom ever. It's kind of fun to have something unique. I'm really happy with that. All right, Dad. Yeah. They asked us to come over and look. We're gonna at go the look door. at the door now. Hey guys. Oh, the, you know what the real reason is? They got trapped. Oh, they can't get out. There we go. You guys okay? Yeah, we got trapped. Have been trapped for a while? Uh, well, yeah. come see what we did. Hours. See. Hours. Don't shut it. Oh. We'll all be trapped. Oh my gosh. Oh. That looks amazing. I can smell the ocean. It's taped. Okay. Really, really like it. It fits in so well with inside here. And actually, both parts of the theme fit. You've got the metal and the metal. And Two bolts should go up. There should be more bolts on that half than there's on that half. Okay, he's ready? We're gonna go back to work. Okay. People go into our bath and come out of seasick. It really sends it over a beautiful top. Not too much, but over the top of that nautical theme that we were really shooting for uh, for the bathroom. So, right on. I have a plan to put these pieces in here. So, and these are spacers. And then running these little quarter inches all the way up and then creating a space for cookie sheets or racks, those kinds of things. He's really loving it. He likes working with wood. It's like a labor of love for him. Every little thing is perfect. It's interesting because you go over and you're just like, it's a slab of wood. Like, what are you gonna do with this? And then it comes together and you're like, wow, that's pretty cool. Every little piece he's just taking his time and doing it right on. And we feel bad sometimes too that we are not out there helping him with it, yeah. but it's just something we really can't help him with. Yeah, it's you wouldn't jump into an artist and help them with their painting. And that's good with that in these cabinets. Well, good use of aluminum cans. I learned a while ago that they always keep a reservoir above the part because the aluminum will shrink when it cools. You don't want your part to shrink, but you want the aluminum from the above to shrink into your part. How many cans, Bryson, do you think you used on one of that mold? Probably about a trash bag. A trash bag full, I would. Okay. Well, I see those little vent holes too are working good. You're seeing the smoke come out of them. Yeah, I think it's steam. It should be, right? Yeah. These, these are the shelf units that we're going to be putting in the high shape cabinets. And I'm laying out the faces right now as to their lengths. So that it's time to get them all cut on the chop saw and start putting them together. Getting ready to uh, assemble these frames for our little pie shaped cabinets. All right, Dad, how's it going? Going good. Got the uh, facing all on. It's time to fill in all the little holes and Sand her down. Get her ready for paint. Look at this, where it's like it's wishy wishy. Well, this is um when this stands up. These are dividers. Oh. So you push your cookie sheets. Ooh. I love it, Dad. Good job. And then that there is a cabinet with three drawers and a. That's where Mom's spice drawer is going to be on the top right. That's the spice bite drawer. Uh huh. Spice bite drawer. It's great, Dad. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna work out really good. Oh, 
that's, that's solid. It's really turned out very smooth. Way cool. I love it. They're rugged too. I was surprised at the weight of them. Yeah. They're, they're heavy duty. Well, that wraps up this week. Next week, we are going to have our full version of the bathroom. We'll have a couple extra uh, unseen footage that will be in that video when it comes to you. The merch design of the week is this porthole. If you'd like to get this design on a piece of merch in our store, you're welcome to. The shop link will be down in the description below. If you happen to purchase any merchandise from us, we would love to see a picture of it. Uh, if you're feeling comfortable enough to do so, you can share it on our Patreon, Twitter, or our Facebook. We would just love to see it. You might notice that we are standing in front of the big ugly wall. Well, where it used to be. So we are going to be, drum roll please, officially removing the big ugly wall from our YouTube videos. You might be thinking, you took that down like months ago. But plot twist, it has been with us all the way up to this point. It will be leaving us soon. If you can be the first one to spot where the big ugly wall is, go down into the YouTube comments, tell us the timestamp of where it's at, and if you're the first one to do that, we are going to be giving you a t-shirt commemorating the big ugly wall. That Big hug to the big ugly wall. So good luck on that. <laughs> I'm probably going to miss it the most. It's a sad day, really. Oh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you very soon. Thanks for being a part of our family. Bye! Bye. Thank you. Now stick something in there and turn it. Do you have anything you stick in there? It was dark in there. It's scary. And there were bears. There were bears. There were bears. <laughs> <laughs> our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. I'd say we're drowning in all this nautical stuff. Let's see what we have here. We thought it'd be funny if you had like a door and then if anybody got curious and opened the door, we'd put a face there, print out somebody's face going. <laughs>